this machine is my gasifier. I built it about three years ago and I'm still picking up ideas on what I need to make this function well as I go along. And what I found out was that this radiator that I built here doesn't have a near enough cooling capacity to cool the gas that this thing makes so that I can pump it from that opening right there and do a combustion engine. Basically how this works is, is you, uh, you put wood in here lat latch right here wood in there you open that up you put wood pellets in here wood pellets and then you close that do this one hand and then that's a box there that I made out of some stuff that I had I just I just said, well, heck with that. I'm not making things beautiful. I'm just making things functional. This is a prototype. Then, I welded some stainless steel pipe, six pipes going down into a tank. And this tank has a tank inside the tank. And inside the tank, there's six baskets that have holes drilled in them made out of stainless steel. And in those baskets, the pellets from this box fall down into those baskets and down here is a clean out this is where you get rid of all the char there's char in here you can see this char that's a spent that's a spent um, uh, wood pellet and that basically was smoke turned into smoke and the smoke has certain properties when you when you uh, uh, make it, uh, basically, it's like uh, any organic matter. If you uh, if you heat it up to a certain point, it it basically through pyrolysis, it's called. It turns the the the, the organic matter into smoke, and half of that smoke is burnable gases. Some of it, there's some tars in there. There's some, a little bit of methane. There's hydrogen, which is very flammable. And there's carbon monoxide. And basically, it burns in those six pots that are in there. Comes out this tube, goes into this, this unit right here, which is a cyclonic filter. This tube goes all the way to the bottom, about an inch off the bottom. So as all the smoke comes out the end of the gas fire, it comes down here, goes in, it spirals around here, all the way to the bottom, and then it comes up the tube and into the radiator. And it, it goes like, this is open, this is open, and then it's, it's, it, it's blocked off right there and it has to go up into here and it's blocked off right there so it basically does this S curve through these pipes to pick up some cooling and then it goes down to the bottom and it goes into the bottom of this canister and this canister has a, a suction blower on the top of it it basically creates a vacuum and it comes out this little elbow here and there's a big tap right here that I used to shut the gas off and it comes out here into a two two inch uh, two and a half inch sorry two and a half inch pipe and this here is basically a prototype ceiling fan speed control you can speed control the speed of the suction and basically I, I put some masking tape around here. I thought maybe it was leaking a little bit just real quick for for testing purposes but it's not leaking at all as a matter of fact because I've got silicone on the lip of it. This is the latch and then this just opens up 
and you can see there's the fan and this here is it's actually tar from wood it's like creosote this black shiny stuff here and it's obviously coated the fan and the reason why all this has happened is because the air coming from that tube goes into the grill and this whole canister should be full of, of wood chips so that all that black tarry smoke comes in here and that filter medium filters all the tars out and when it goes through this fan it actually comes out clean clean hydrogen carbon monoxide methane and then you can actually take a lighter and you can light this like barbecue gas and you could cook with it if you wanted to and these little doohickeys along the bottom of the tank here these things they're lighting ports so I thread that off stick a piece of paper in there and each one take the propane torch and light them all turn the fan on creates vacuum draws air into those little holes that are in the ends of the tubes and lights up those stainless steel bowls that are at the bottom of those tubes and that material that's in those bowls will start on fire and create smoke and have it come out here and basically what you can do is run an engine off of this the clean smoke that comes out of here so it's burning too hot this rad has got to go so I have a new idea and I'll show you in a moment so here we go instead of having this I'm gonna make a bigger rad that's got 24 of these in it this is copper and it's probably almost an eighth of an inch thick that pipe three quarter inch I'll have to take a couple fins off it so that I can solder elbows and tees onto it to make this radiator. But it's it's really heavy. This weighs about got three pounds, and there's 24 of them. So I'm gonna have 24 along here. And then what I like to do is I like to put a. Uh, a battery operated like 12 volt motor car fan to blow over them to dump the heat off and when you take the heat off your smoke it becomes more dense and then it and then it condenses because it's cooler and in this cyclonic filter there will be a jar bolted to the bottom of that nipple right there and that moisture will drop off any 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 kind of material drop off into the, into that canister so you can take it off and dump it out put it back in again it won't be sub, won't be a lot there won't be a lot and then right there on the bottom of that thing there will also be a water trap which is a jar that you thread off and dump out and everything is sealed up tight there's no smoke comes out of this thing when it's functioning no smoke at all because that smoke gets sucked into the engine and when the engine burns that gas it basically expels it clean from the muffler so it's pretty interesting this gasification watched a lot of uh, videos and lots of tests that people do and this is kind of what I've come up with so um, yeah I think I'm gonna change the radiator on this and uh, I've had it up to operating temperature. It was about uh, 2,387 degrees on the on the side of the tank right there. So it's getting to the right temperature to produce good gas. The only thing is I'm getting a lot of steam because that wood pellet, those wood pellets, they have probably you know between seven and fifteen percent moisture content. But you need a little bit of moisture because that's where you get your hydrogen from. Anyways, I'm going to continue on and keep developing it.